Hey, in case you needed another reason to hate Goldman Sachs, and I do, and you don't really, but here we go. They're probably the, if you if you're not sure if they're evil incarnate. Here we go. So uh, Goldman Sachs is starting this pretend thing. Uh, by the way, Goldman Sachs in April announced that they would pay the federal government more than five billion dollars in penalties tied to wrongdoing tied to the U.S. economy's collapse in two thousand eight. So, um, Which, so the, what's uh, that? those penalties are all BS, by the way. If you look into how that all works, I heard a big interview with oh, the guy. Who, it, the, it's the, all like rebates and stuff. Yeah, they're not they, going to pay them. They get the money. But it's like some yeah. sort of weird. It's all, it's all for show. Yeah, it's not a uh, check. They're going to pay the $5 billion. The settlement came about with Goldman Sachs because Goldman Sachs uh, had improper conduct when it came to packaging, securitization, marketing, sale, and the issuance of residential mortgage-backed securities between 2005 and 2007, said a Department of Justice press release issued in April. So Goldman Sachs screwing over their own customers, screwing over America, misrepresenting stuff, and contributing to the biggest economic collapse since the Great Depression. Five billion dollars. That's that's not a hundred million. That's not two hundred million dollars. Three hundred million. That's not ten hundred million. That's like five thousand hundred million dollars. Is five trillion dollars, right? Right. I'm not a math surgeon, so correct me if I'm wrong on that. But it's a lot more money than it sounds like. <laughs> so they have to pay five billion dollars. So you know they're good people. They screwed over America, screwed over our economy. Nobody went to jail, and they all got rich doing it. And so now they want to bring that kind of helping hand to community colleges in Rhode Island. And they're starting a program uh, at the community college in Rhode Island. But guess what? In order to start their community, but here's the uh, the governor of a Rhode Island. Uh, she announced in March that Goldman Sachs was coming to Rhode Island to assist small businesses. Guess what they're doing? They're moving into uh, office space on a community college campus. But in order to make room for that community college, I mean, to have the Goldman Sachs offices, they got to kick out a daycare center. <laughs> they're kicking out a daycare center. Imagine Preschool, that's the name of it. Imagine Preschool is a unique early childhood learning center located at the CCRI Knight campus in Warwick, preparing children ages three to five years old. Imagine Preschool instills a love of learning and an excitement about school that creates the foundation for successful learning, said the website about the program. Full-time employees and full-time students may take advantage of scholarship opportunities for their children. Okay, so by the by the way, a, a, a preschool program for for community college students is so that work the working poor can come, drop their kids off, get classes so mm -hmm. that they can better themselves. Get out of being the working poor. The they could be the working middle class. Right. And Warwick, Rhode mm -hmm. Island, where I have been, is in desperate need of those kinds of pro those exact kinds of programs. And it's pronounced Warwick. Oh, Warwick? Okay. No, it's Warwick. Warwick, okay, thank they, you. They call it Warwick. Adorable. Uh, the Providence Center, the school, it's just del delivers services at 11 locations around the state. Uh, and it was noted that the Imagine Preschool was their only daycare. The situation, quote, the situation is you can't put an early education center just anywhere. You need high quality space. And we're closing. We're clo So this is Goldman Sachs comes in and we need to find office space for Goldman Sachs. Get rid of the daycare center. Screw them. <laughs> Get rid of the daycare center for kids three to five. They're th Get rid of them. We could throw them anywhere. Where are we going to put them now? Nowhere. Just get rid of it. We need Goldman Sachs. He's coming into our college. I like, and I like that Goldman Sachs can't build their own shit. Right? Yeah. We they have, a, we have billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars, virtually tax free because of these incentives, we, and we can't build a, a couple of thousand square feet for our offices. According, or, it, or maybe uh, the feel-good version of the story is they built a daycare center and they said, you know, something like that. Yeah, like, uh, you would built think a better a daycare you would, center. No. You would think they'd move in and build another better daycare center. No. So according, um, 
to the Providence Center, the, uh, the daycare center, a center which currently serves 36 children. They're being forced to move. The Providence Center delivers services at, um, according to the faculty at the junior college, the daycare is, be, is being moved for administrative office to house Goldman Sachs personnel. <laughs> Quote, I inquired if the new president shut down the daycare center, and I got no response, said an English professor. I understand that the daycare staff must be out in June, and renovations will begin to accommodate a new counseling center, which could include the new Goldman Sachs business initiative. <laughs> so if you needed another reason to hate these people at Goldman Sachs, there you go. They're kicking out a daycare center so they can go sp- spread their uh, b- f- a business model of fraud. Uh, I kind of hate the people who are running this community college because they're letting this happen. You know, I mean, Goldman Sachs, they're scumbags. That's what they do. They are. Okay. A community college is supposed to know better. They're supposed to go, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Educating people, children. Wait a minute. Try and improve people's lives in the community. That's what we do. So we're not going to do this. (laughs) That's what they're supposed to do. They're but not would... supposed to be like, Goldman Sachs is coming. Why, get rid of these filthy children. They can't see them when they get here. So a faculty, faculty advisor told the student newspaper, to me, this is about shutting down a daycare for more extri- administrative expansion. Where's the community in that? I'm with you. I'm with you, faculty member. Goldman Sachs, in case you didn't think they were evil enough...